I wanted to talk about the three juveniles with the um, the multiple vehicle thefts, but yeah. with the time, okay. I, I think I would really rather talk about the body cameras. Okay. Um, so, you know, big news, right? It's a lot of stuff going on with this in the news, and, you know, um, you guys did a grant, yes. uh, right? Uh, requested money from the... The Department of Justice. Or, okay. um, and so, uh, Christy, who's yep. here somewhere, she actually... Um, <laughs> We, the grant came out and they basically you'll get an email to grant announcement. And so um, we, we got this grant announcement. And so Christy, uh, Jim Besegli, Mike Baird, who's kind of does our technical stuff too at the police department and myself, we all met and we basically said, okay, you know, Christy, yes, you're, you're going to have to write it. We'll give you the information, <laughs> but this is your specialty. So she did an awesome job. She wrote a great grant. Um, you know, we were, we, and especially because it's it such a short time. Is it just kind of clean your case to, like, why you deserve it? Yeah, is I mean, kinda, or? it's kind of, they, they, you know, part of the grant was looking at what you've already done with technology. Because they want to make sure that you have kind of the infrastructure there ready to, A, support it, have people who understand it, and that you can, you know, get involved in a program like this and have people in place who are, um, you know, under, aware of technology. So a lot of it's, under, you know, talking about, you know, what we currently do, how we would use it, um, you know, what technology we've been we've been using, how successful that's been. So, yeah, it's it's a combination of everything. Okay. And so uh, you were approved for it and given X yes. amount of dollars. Yes. Um, $250,000 matching grant from the U.S. Department of Justice yes. is what I see here. Yeah. Um, and so currently you have how many officers with body cameras? We have eight um, officers right now who it's are just currently... Is kind of a trial? Trial, yeah. It's a, it's a test phase. Um, the, the new law that, that takes place in January, um, it was a bill that was introduced that turned into a law. Um, it's the Police uh, and Community Improvements Relations Act. And part okay. of the act is the ability for now, us to now use body cameras because current prior to that, um, there's a lot of issues with eavesdropping and two people being able to re be recorded, which I think the Chiefs talked about on, yeah. on the show before. So um, this law now basically changes the landscape for law enforcement, and now we have the ability. Now there's certain exemptions when you turn the camera on, when you turn the camera off. There's a lot of stuff in the law. So we've... I would imagine juveniles or... Um, it's a lot. It's, child abuse cases. There's sensitive something. victims. Yeah. If the victim asks, um, if you go into a home, there's an expectation of privacy. You have to let the person know that you're recording them. Um, so there's a lot of other things in there, but that's just kind of a, a snapshot. Gotcha. And so we, in April, formed a committee in, in anticipating that this bill was going to pass. And so we formed this committee, it's, it's supervisors, it's officers, it's um, civilian staff inclusive of our records division because you also have to think about the FOIA requests and the information, how are you going to push that information out to the public, who gets that information. So there's a lot of stuff that we have to work mm. through. Um, so we have eight officers currently testing the body cameras, so we will eventually make our way through maybe five or six different types of models. It, it, it all depends. They're usually weary for about two weeks, and then we switch the models I was just going to ask you, does it yeah. rotate between they, the officers as well, or yes. is it going to be the same eight? The same eight, but they'll rotate mm -hmm. different cameras, so okay. that way they have the ability to compare, you know, what which they're... Yeah, they which better, they like. which ones work better for exactly. them. Exactly. They have a, a knowledge way. base. Yeah. Exactly. So we're doing that, um, and so we anticipate maybe this for another couple of months as far as the test phase. In the meantime, uh, you know, we're still figuring out, you know, when are we going to purchase them, what are we going to do. There's a lot of stuff we have to do with, um, you know, logistics-wise, and so there's a lot of work to still be done. So this test phase gives us the ability to work through some of the issues that we may encounter once we do, um, you know, establish a full body-worn camera program in the police department. Preliminarily, any pros or cons yet that you've... Uh been made aware of anything that you yeah, know, I met, yeah this is great or ooh, I don't know if we like that or this has been a problem um I met with the officers uh Wednesday of this week so that was kind of like our first Good two, that you're here. yes <laughs> um the first two weeks of the and then so we're going to switch the cameras up starting next week and uh generally you know we just kind of hit on some of the pros and cons of the cameras that they're testing themselves and then uh one thing that did come up that we had a little bit of conversation about was the downloading time and so that's something you have to take into consideration too as well as if the camera's taking a while to download and you need to look at the video. Does it have to do with the quality that it's recording it's, at or the level? It's or? the quality. It's also how it's, um, you know, how it downloads itself in the docking station. You know, some of the cameras that, that we'll eventually be testing, you can actually review the video on the camera. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of things we have to work through, but that was something that we kind of, you know, through this test so far, is you know, we have to be, um, you know, aware of that. It's going to take a little bit of additional time for officers to do their reports if they need to look at that video. So, um, but that's the whole point of the test phase. I think that um, 
the police department, Elgin, you know, we we don't wait for people to do things. We set the bar. I mean, we're yeah. not going to wait for, you know, this test and getting this information and this data. You know, I've had a lot of um, different agencies reach out to me and reach out to the department because they're asking, hey, do you guys have this? Hey, do you guys have that? So um, we're being very thoughtful about how we do the test and we're taking our time. Um, we're going to look at the pros, the cons. We're going to let the public know. I've gone to city council. The chief's talked about it numerous times. We go to community meetings. Um, so, you know, this is... Every, we want everybody to be aware of what we're doing. From a public standpoint, have uh, any of the officers stated that the public is very anti or no, very pro had, camera? Or yeah, they, at this point, they still have to notify them. Like, yes, I just like to let you know that yes. you're on camera. Or how yes. do they? At this point, because we're kind of in this middle area, so there's protocol that we work with our legal department to establish yeah. where during this test phase what we will do. In January, that will change slightly depending on circumstances. So we'll have to revise our protocol and. Um, but generally the officers have received, I mean, I've, I've viewed a couple of videos where the officer says, Hey, you're I just, I just to let you know you're on camera. They're like, okay. I mean, it's, it's basically, I almost think that the expectation of, of, you know, police officers having cameras or some camera capturing you, I think the public is, you know, they're comfortable with that now. Yeah. So, um, it's just, you know, our officers haven't had any, um, any negative experiences, but again, it's, it's a, you know, we've only been doing it for a couple of weeks. So at the end of our full test phase, we'll be able to provide the chief, um, you know, a, a full analysis along with data um, on the cameras, the issues, the concerns, uh, things to think about, considerations, and um, from then we'll take it from there. I can imagine. You know, the, the nice thing about it is, there it is, black and white, or in mm -hmm. color in this case, right? You know, it's there's no he said, she said kind of, well, this is what happened, or the officer said this, or the victim said this, yeah. or the subject or the suspect said this. No, here's the camera, here's the footage. Yeah, and again, you know, the, the point that I've been stressing a lot is, you know, managing expectations with the public and letting people know. Um, you know, incidents that are caught are captured on camera, sometimes you have it and it does nothing, you know. So um, you have to just realize that it's another tool. Right. It's, you know, traditional policing methods, interviewing witnesses, forensic applications, um, you know, having, you know, smart people that and, and, you know, detectives that understand other investigative methods like, you know, social media and using that, um, you know, or establishing relationships in the community where people then feel comfortable coming forward to. All that still is in play. This is just an added bonus on yeah. top of it. So in some incident, you know, I think the chief yesterday, uh, last week when he was on the show was talking about if there's an incident that happened behind him, you know, and you were here. It's not going to capture it because my camera's facing forward. Right. So, um, Is it audio as well? Yes, it's yeah. audio and video. So it will may or may capture the audio, but then again, just like with any technology. If someone's like, smiling and saying one thing oh, as yeah. a joke, the, yes. it's not going to capture that. Right. You're going to hear something. You'll hear it, But right. it may be an entirely different meaning because yes. you can't see the person's expression. Yes, yes. and again, the <laughs> technology is not infallible. You have to be very aware of what its limitations are and its capabilities, but... It's another tool that why why wouldn't we use it? We have a whole um, unit that's dedicated to technology that focuses on cameras, and we have classes, and we educate the public. So this just is something that complements what we already have. Yeah.